Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. Back on Iowa Plains View. I sent, uh, I, so we got some things done. We got some things done. I got the big Calfee mixer installed over the weekend. Um, the uh, FarmFlex building company was able to come out and put them up. I uh, also got in touch with Ray. Now, this is the interesting part here. Uh, I got in touch with Ray, and he did us a solid. Uh, I said, hey, Ray, it's been a while. I hope all is well. I'll get right to it. That Heston baler is giving me fits with this alfalfa, clover, and the soybean straw. You think you guys could have time? You think you guys have time to take a look at it over the weekend? Uh, Ray said, "Hey there, Deuce. We are well. Uh, I like it. Right to business. Uh, yeah, we can probably make some adjustments to it and have it working by the time the rooster crows Monday morning. Send it on over." I said, "All right. Thanks a bunch, Ray. Uh, need to get that thing in full work and order. I'll send Jimmy over with it shortly if he can find the place." Uh, so that was that, uh, we got that working, which is real nice. Uh, and then, uh, also have this little, let me see if I can find it here. I got to pull up all my files. Uh, I got an invoice here somewhere from the farm flex guys or flex far, farm flex buildings, flex farm buildings, whatever they call it. Uh, I just got to find it here. Too many dang folders to keep up with. I'll tell you what, farming is hard work, man. It's not just, it's not just farming. It's paperwork and everything else you got to do, too. All right, so the invoice. The invoice from FarmFlex Building Co. Uh, building invoice, invoice number right there, January 7th, 2023. Invoice build to secondhand cattle, which is us. Uh, and then... Uh, total amount 5,000. It says full construction of cow feed mixer and distribution itemized on page four. So uh, th this is the, this is the main page though. This is what we need. Uh, so, uh, due January 8th, we've already paid it. As you can see, our bank account is, uh, down to 40,000. So we've already paid the invoice. We are good to go there. Um, so let's go hop down here and take a look at this cow feed mixer station by farm flex building co. Uh, I think it's great. I can actually walk behind here. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, this thing is very, very big. It's very, it's very big. Uh, so I'm guessing uh, it doesn't say which is which, but I would assume like straws on one end and solid is on the other and then haze in the middle maybe. I'm not real sure. Looks like this is where the mineral feed goes and then this is where we can pick it up at. And uh, I've already come down here with the tractor and put me a little road. I say put me on the road. I drove over it a bunch of times to kill the grass, made some mud. Uh, but this is where we get it from right here. So this went pretty well as as intended. I said this is what we we're going to do the other day. Uh, went pretty well, I think. Um, it, it's a little bigger than what I'd imagined. I'd imagine having enough room to drive straight in from here, uh, from the road, right? Drive straight in. Uh, but we don't so which is fine because when we come in we're either gonna be going around the back Or we're gonna be coming over here to dump anyway, so it really doesn't matter one way or the other is fine uh, Not a huge problem at all uh, But there we go. So that is good uh, We are just about ready to um, To mow here you can see that it's it says ready to harvest, but it's at that first harvest stage So we'll let that go for a little while uh, Let's go jump back over here the baler is now fixed up uh, so that we can uh, we can start running some bales of that. I got some pallets out here we need to pick up. Um, we'll start running some pallets here uh, shortly. Not pallets, some uh, some bales down to the other end here shortly. I want to get the, the last bit of these loaded up. I'm going to take these and sell them so that we can stack all of our bales on that trailer and run it down to the other end. I think that'll work really well. Uh, the mineral feed and the extra straw is already pulled out of here. There is only uh, 1,800 left of silage and hay, 100 left of mineral feed, and uh, 940 left of straw. So we're going to let that completely run out, and then we'll sell this building back to FarmFlex Building. They did say that they take uh, the materials and reuse them on other buildings if it's in good shape, and ours is in pretty good shape. We haven't had it that long. So it should work out really, really well. Uh, that's pretty much caught up for, for you guys from over the weekend. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it all. Uh, I was busy this weekend. We got uh, we got a building built. I got the got the baler worked on. It's all straightened out now. Um, Ray let me do some testing on some test plots he had. 
it will pick up uh, alfalfa, alfalfa hay, uh, clover, clover hay, and soybean straw. So it is perfectly, perfectly fixed up and in good working order now. Um, just, just like it was supposed to be before. So it uh, works out really well for us. All that being said, if you're watching later, remember this was live streamed on Twitch. I have a couple other channels. You can find them down below in the description. My main YouTube channel, Do Some S. Uh, my second channel called Pixel Deuce Plays, P Pixel Pixel Deuce Pixel Deuce Plays, and then my Twitch channel, which is just live streamed on Do Some S on Twitch as well. Find all those links down below, and come hang out with us for some live streams. I live stream on my main YouTube channel. Uh, five days a week, Monday through Friday. On Friday, we do our Farm Sim Community Multiplayer Farm if you're looking for a community to play with. Uh, right now, we're doing a cross-play on Western Australia. You're more than welcome to join us if welcome you want to. Back. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. How's everybody doing in the live chat? I hope you're doing well. Hey, we had a new doing? follow welcome to the uh, a minute ago. Uh, va va vapened? Va vapened? Hey, vapened? You Thank you for welcome the follow. The Much appreciated. Uh, looks like Martin is getting busy right away, gifting out some subs to the community. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the outhouse. Martin, thank you so very much for five gifted subs in the channel. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the outhouse. Five gifted subs in the channel. Ghost, Mad, Mad, Mad Dog, uh, Bleeder, Blade Antics, and Weak Boy. Use those emotes wherever you want to. Throw them around if you don't want to use them at all. That's fine, too. Uh, enjoy the crappy steam boats you'll find on Twitch. Martin, thanks very much for the five gifted subs. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, I did not reset this. I'm going to reset this now. I forgot about it. I got every, I got to everything else except this over the weekend. Uh, but we'll do it now. There we go. Uh, thank you guys for hitting that, hitting that sub goal. Uh, much appreciated. The new sub goal. Uh, smashed it, actually. Uh, Martin coming in with those five gifted ones just to tack on a few extra. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Hearts and plunders and golden TP all the way around. Martin, how are you, Spiderette? How are you, Bud? Good to see you. I'm going to tab out real quick so I can scroll up. Uh, Bud, Smokey, Crystal, Spiderette, Martin. Hope everybody is doing well. Hug me. How's it going? Welcome. The ghost said thanks for, the, thanks for the, the gifted sub. Heck yeah. Enjoy those emotes. Crappiest ones you'll find on Twitch, like I always say. Uh, I probably need to come up with a better motto. I don't think anybody wants the crappy emotes, but that's what we got. So, not like I, I'm not lying to people. That's for sure. Uh, and they're actually the m most of them are actually pretty good artwork, though. Um, as far as like the artistic ability goes, uh, I think Raj did a fine job uh, on most of those. All right, so let's do that, and then let's. Um, Let's go sell this, and then we'll just come back with a fresh load, uh, or a fresh, a fresh trailer with no load on it, and we'll start stacking bales. We're gonna start running bales down to the other end and start making us some, uh, start making us some TMR down on that end, and we can start getting rid of this building here. And I know that they're gonna be disconnected from our cows, but that's kind of gonna be our production area down there for, um, for cattle. Uh, so we'll just everything else will. will It'll run back and forth to here because our other our other cow barn is probably going to go right over there on field seven when we can buy that. So I think that'll work really well. Uh, let me catch up with everybody in live chat now. Um, everybody doing well today? Looks like Spider S doing well. Martin's doing well. Good to hear. I'm good after my first day at work after three week holiday. Nice. Heck yeah. You gotta love that. Pleasant view. How's it going? Pleasant view farm. Uh, I think I skipped you while ago when I was saying hey to everybody. Hope you're doing well today. Um, I think all of my settings are good. We covered everything. I talked to Ray. I got the invoice from uh, Flex Farm, uh, Farm Flex Building Co. Uh, got that turned into them. We paid them off. So uh, I think we're doing pretty well. We're making progress. And now we can plant some alfalfa and do soybean straw and everything else. So that's going to make a big difference in what we plant. We're going to plant some soybeans next season and we can take some more soybean contracts now and pick up some more straw so that's good uh, i'm glad ray was able to raise guys ray didn't do it i'm glad Ray's guys were able to make that tweak on the baler because it helps us out a ton helps us out a lot uh but other than that today is going to be a moving 
uh, kind of moving day, I guess. We're going to be moving some bales down to the other end. Uh, hopefully start making some, some TMR down there on a bigger scale. It's going to use a little bit more of some things, a little less of some things. Uh, but I hope I hope we can keep up with it. That's going to be the big thing is keeping up with it. So um, I know it's going to produce more. It's going to produce, uh, the other one produces 900 per hour or per cycle. This one produces 1,000 per cycle. So it produces slightly more, but it also holds a lot more. So we can cram a lot more in there at once and not have to worry about it as often. And I think for me, that's the main thing is being able to cram more in there. Uh, and kind of leave it for a day or two while we're working on other stuff instead of every day having to go refill it, you know. And we'll just take the lettuce over here to the garden, uh, the garden center. I kind of, I kind of treat this like a, um, uh, what do you call it, farmer's market type deal in town. We'll just go deliver all this to there, let them sell it. We're getting the wholesale, wholesale buyer's price for this. And then, of course, they'll mark it up to retail or somewhere close to retail. Uh, so I'm okay with it. They're making a little money off of it. We're making a little money off of it. People are still getting lettuce. So that works out for everybody around, I think. Take it easy, turn it in. Yeah, see, it's like a garden restaurant type deal, but they do have a little uh, farmer's market here on the weekends, I think. So... Uh, that's good. Everybody, everybody goes home happy. Uh, nothing, nothing bad going on. So I think it works out well. Let all that. They're coming to get it off there. It's all right. Come on, take it, take it on. Lots of pallets. It's not that many. We had a full trailer load last time we did that, but that's still fifteen thousand dollars. Watching a master at work. Dang, anonymous played master at work for two hundred bits. Those some plungers in chat for them two hundred bits. Much appreciated much appreciated yeah still fifteen thousand uh, dollars for that lettuce there uh, so it builds up over time and it's quite nice actually uh, but yeah Pleasant View lots of lots of pallets making some good money uh, we sold a lot more tomatoes last time which ended up being about the same price. I think we made like 30,000 last time we took but it was a full trailer load but most of it was tomatoes so uh, I think now after we get everything transported down we're probably gonna look at getting us a different flatbed because uh, I don't think I need this one anymore. I want something that is more flat, right? More. This has got that uh, that uh, step up on the front there, and then the dovetail on the back. So uh, we need something that's more flat. I think we're gonna look for something a little more flat. Bayway, what's going on? What map that is in the title? It's Iowa Plains View. Iowa Plains View map. Uh, fantastic map. This is this is episode number fifty-five, I think. Um, yeah, fifty-five, and that's all but one of those is uh, at least an hour and a half stream. So there've been days where I've stopped a little early just because I'm you know tired or had something to do or whatever. So, but all but one of those is at least an hour and a half stream. So, and the majority of them have been over two hours episode so uh, we've done a lot we've actually made some progress it doesn't seem like it but we've made a lot of progress compared to what we started with and you know what we may just go look right now because I'm just sitting here thinking about this if we if we take that now then we're gonna be stacking bells on that thing and I'd rather not I'd rather have something that is see that's the dovetail right there this one is flat flat even though it's got the, the thing on top there. This one's the same. Uh, it's only 28000 We could probably turn around and sell this. This one right here would work too, actually. I know it's got the dovetail on the back end, but it's got a nice big... Uh, what's that called? Uh, landing? No, not landing. What's that called? Up, up top right here. What is, it? what is that thing? Can't remember what it's called. But that's nice and flat right there too. Uh, we could stack bells up here even, and I don't think it'd matter. And we've got an 18-wheeler now, so we could pull it with that. I think that would work, too. Uh, let's go do that, actually. Let's just turn around and go sell this trailer. And then we'll send Jimmy down to the store with the 18-wheeler. With the uh, with the Volvo. And, and do it that way. Uh, we've Like, this was good for a minute, 
but I think we got it on sale maybe. I don't remember how we got this. Maybe I bought it because I thought it was flat and I didn't look at it close enough, but that's what it was. You finished all but three videos to catch up on the Farmer Deuce channel? Holy moly, that's a lot. Holy moly. You sure Jimmy can handle the 18 wheels? No, I'm not. I'm not at all. I don't think he can, actually. Uh, yeah, Crystal, that's a lot. That's a lot of videos on that channel. Uh, not quite as many as the main channel, but that's a lot of videos, though. That is a lot. Yeah, I don't know if Jimmy can handle the Volvo or not. We're going to try it. Uh, you know what? We may send him back with this one, and we'll go get the Volvo. Yeah, we may, we may send him back with this, and we'll just go get the Volvo and run down here and pick up this trailer. Uh, but if we can get that one for 24000 24, it's plenty big enough. Um, and if this sells for the right price, and I think we're going to be okay doing that, actually. I don't think we're going to lose money. This is We've gotten our money's worth out of this trailer, for sure. Let's see what this one's going to sell for. Oh, yeah. This is going to sell for fifty. dollars uh, Jimmy, just head on back to the house. And uh, we'll get started on some more stuff later. I know you're just getting here, so take your time. I'm not paying you by the hour for this. This is a this is a this is a day rate kind of deal, there, Jimmy. Uh, let's send him on. We'll just park him right here. Third job. All right, sounds good. Have at it, buddy. All right, let's go fix this up. And the main channel's next. Oh wow. Um, there's a lot. Include member videos and stuff on there. There's, I mean, there's over 3,000 videos probably on the main channel. All right, so 52,342. We're going to sell that. And then we're going to turn around and buy it's in the sell page. Oh, the trailer we just sold is in the sell page for 25,000. Dang, we could make money just buying that back right now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to, though. Uh, 20 months. That's our trailer. Hey, he just turned around and put that in the sell page. Hot dang. Uh, I don't think we're going to though. We're going to go ahead and buy another flatbed. And this one right here, these should be the same. Are these the same? Uh... How much was this one? This one's 55000 I mean, this is the same thing, right? It doesn't have as big of a, a landing or whatever it's called. This one does, though. This trailer looks longer. I think it is. It may not be. It may just have three three axles in there. I mean, this is all we need, though. And it's still I can still load stuff on here, which is fine, too. I did, yeah, uh, Hugney. Yeah, we, we, we took it down to Ray's place, and he got it working for us. So, um, Ray, Ray being code for J-Rock Nation on Twitch. I'll leave a link down in the description for those watching later if you want to go check out J-Rock's channel. Uh, <laughs> Ray over here at the store got it. Uh, Ray, Ray Kinsella got it working for us. Or his guys did, anyway. Uh, there were some adjustments that needed to be made in the teeth. Uh, something about the alfalfa and the clover and the soybean straw was just too thick, and it was gumming up, and it was breaking it, apparently. So uh, They got it all fixed for us, though. They got it adjusted so we can pick up all the stuff now, which is good. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this one. Uh, we could get the extension on it. I kind of like that. I kind of like the extension. 2000 extra, though. I don't need the extension that bad. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I don't need the extension that bad. All right, let's go grab the uh, the Volvo. Inner vehicle. All right, looks like Jimmy's about to pull in here, which is good. It may, make me feel better about the whole situation. Yep, there he goes. He's going to drive right past the driveway, of course. Jimmy don't know where he's going. Thank Jimmy. All you had to do was turn right there in the driveway. Get the triple axle? I can't afford it. I'm trying to save as much money as I can. Jim, that's the reason I went with the cheap one. And the cheap one is not much shorter, if if at all. And all I'm doing is moving some bales and some, some lettuce pallets and stuff around with it. So big bags and stuff kind of top. Uh, I don't really need the big one, and it's half half the price of the big one, so I got to do it to save money. Yeah, I had to do it to save myself some money. It just it's just cheaper, and all around right now, um, 
trying to save money for if a land auction comes up or just if I get ready to buy field 30, I'll buy field 30 or field seven even so I can start putting down some more cow pens. Oh guys, also over the weekend, uh, our cows gave birth. We had 50 calves over the weekend, guys. 50 calves. I've got 190 cattle now. We're almost to that 200 threshold where I could hire Dean, Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy's other buddy. We have Jimmy John and Jimmy Dean. Uh, but we're almost there. It's pretty crazy that they had that many. I had 50 calves over the weekend. Just insanity. There we go. Let's make sure there's not a... Oh, get the hoses hooked up there. Oh, this thing's nice, actually. I like this. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and buy some more mineral feeds. So we're just going to spin sideways right there. Uh, we'll buy some mineral. We'll probably throw it up here on this top thing if we got strapped. We do. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's buy some more mineral feed. And that should be all we really need from here. Uh, let's see. How many do we want to buy? I'm just going to spin down to 70,000, whatever that is. Okay. Looks like that was eight. Did I have 78,000? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of them. Sweet. Ray, I'm going to borrow your JCB That's here. That's a new follower. Where cat, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. Glad Jimmy working working on my farm the other day. You had Jimmy working on your farm the other day? That's a terrible. That's a terrible thing, sir. That's a terrible thing, Goody. <laughs> it's nothing to be proud of, I promise. Uh Jimmy is Jimmy is not great help, but he's he's a decent fellow. That's that's the main thing, I guess. I can work somebody I can work with somebody that's not that's not the best at something, as long as they're good people over somebody that's terrible to be around that knows what they're doing any day of the week. I'd rather work around Jimmy than some of the folks I've worked with in my life. That's for dang sure. Oh, crap. I forgot it's a... It's one of those drop, drop and go situations. I gotta drop down as I go. Ooh, middle feed's heavy. It's like, right, we got it. Right, we're gonna put this up there on the... Uh, yeah, what is this thing called? The landing? The dance floor? The dance floor. That's what it's called. Put it up here on the dance floor. We'll put the bales down on the drop deck part. Uh, these are not straight at all, but that's close enough anyway. That is too true. Yeah, I would much rather... I, I've worked... So, in the sound business, I've worked with people that are... That, that know a lot and are really good at things, but... God, they're insufferable to be insufferable, insufferable to be around. Um, and I've worked with guys that kind of know what they're doing, and are just good people, you know. And I'd much rather work with the good people. The insufferable types are just insufferable, really. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only way to really put it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I would much rather work with people that I can I can put up with uh, than people that know everything and know they know everything. Is Jack Knight the plow was backing up the whole length of the field? Yeah, you definitely had Jimmy over working with you over the weekend then. Uh, I mean, I know he freelances and does work with other people, but I feel bad for you. <laughs> I feel bad for you if you had Jimmy over working with you. Straighten those out a bit. Looking good. Two more stacks here. Matter of fact, I might just stack these three high. They'll probably hold it. That'll leave me with one more open space. I got some more over there I'm going to have to get anyway. Um, and I need to stack these the best I can to try to get the, the telehandler on there with it. And I'm going to need another telehandler at the house, too. We're going to need to take one over to the main uh, to the main area. Or to the, t the mixing area now. And then we're going to have to leave one at the house. I'm going to have to have two of these. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot my other one. Let's go ahead and get the other one. You even streamed it. Oh, man, I wish I'd have been around. I mean, I was kind of around, but I kind of wasn't either. Yeah, the weekends, I'm either around... Uh, doing streaming something on the YouTube channel or I'm around working on stuff or I'm not around at all it's kind of a hit or miss 
Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the outhouse. Dang, Martin. Martin Gifton, hey, five more community subs. Five hey, more subs. Doing? Welcome to the outhouse. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the outhouse. Guys, enjoy those crappy emotes. Martin, thank you so very much. Get some hearts and plunders from GoTP in chat. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the outhouse. Mad Max. FTID. Big Al Sims. 22 farming guy. I know that guy. That guy plays farm sim. And he streams it on Twitch. Uh, enjoy those emotes. Thank you so much, Martin, for the gifted subs. Heck yeah. Much appreciated. Hearts and plungers and golden TP all around. Much appreciated, buddy. Let's see if I can I'm kinda split this stack here, I think. If we can. I know there's too much weight to put just on the front, but uh, I feel like one 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 load of this back to the house will be fine. I don't think it's gonna cause too much trouble for us. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, we got some more over the house. We're gonna stack. We got a lot of bales to stack up there, so I'm trying to get as much on there as I can. It's moving day down to the other uh, big cow feed mixer. We're not putting anything else in the small one. Ray, I appreciate you. I'm going to come get this thing one day and fix it up for you, buddy, and uh, put your key back where it goes. Fix it up for you and clean it up and all that kind of stuff. I'll do some once-overs on it myself to pay him back for using it because he doesn't charge us, so that's always good. But it'll be nice to kind of do Ray a solid there and clean the thing up for him. What is a stack right there. Looks pretty good. Uh, except that would never really happen. This would be stacked uh, probably about halfway of the wheels and the and the and the tractor there um and probably single stacks if i had to guess it wouldn't be stacked up on the nose of the trailer like this up on the dance floor uh three high that would be silly vega zoo what's up how's it going what the god i forgot to turn that junk up Anonymous playing the sheep scream for 500 bits. Uh, if you need to go change your drawers, go ahead. All I'm going to be doing is stacking some more pallets and bales on this. I'll be doing the same thing when you get back. Anonymous, thank you for the 500 bits. Go ahead and throw some uh, plunders in chat. Uh, try to get uh, try to get that toilet to stop flushing all these plungers right down the... I mean, flushing all these bits right down the drain. Thank you, Anonymous, for the sheep scream, which I desperately... Desperately need to turn down. Or maybe turn up just to make everybody else hate it. Uh, thank you so very much. Those some plungers at Anonymous. Mostly fine. How about you? I'm doing good. Having a good day. Uh, every day is a good day. Try missing one. All right. Uh, let's just stop here for a minute. Let's grab the telehandler. We'll stack our pallets of mineral feed up there right now. And then we'll get some bales stacked up there too. I don't know how much weight this thing's actually going to hold. We probably should have got the triple axle, but didn't, I wanted to save money. So just, just saving money is not always the best idea. Let's see if I can... Oh, is that kind of it's kind of pinned inside the other one, isn't it? Oh, there we go. We got it out. That works. We'll just set those. Oh, easy, easy there, guy. We'll set those three right here. We 
we go. Yeah, this is definitely not the way this would be stacked uh, in real life. I feel like I feel like you'd be asking for DOT to come come give you a look if you did this for real. Oh, no! What are you doing, you big dummy? Ugh, such a pain. Such a pain. Alright, let's flip everything over. Here we go. That's a new follow. -up. Got it. Got to do a little break dance sometime to make things happen the way you want it to. BG, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. All right. Made a little bit of a mess. That's okay though. We got to straighten out. Got to straighten out. Let's uh. Did it land on the trailer? It did not. It didn't even land upright. Come on, man. Let's try it again. There we go. Landed upright that time. One well, thing right there is like playing with dynamite. It's not just like playing with that. It's like playing, a, playing with dynamite in the middle of a campfire. Yeesh. thing right there is wild. All right, let's try this again without uh, dropping it off the trailer this time. We'll push that other pallet over some. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted right there. Good. This is good. Oosh. I feel like those pallets just don't cooperate very well. It may just be me. It's probably user error, but I'm going to blame it on the pallets anyway. Come on now. Sit down. Right now, this one's stuck. That's perfect. Oh, wow. Why do things stick in, in Farm Sim 22 so much? Jeez. Like, in 19, I don't think I remember stuff sticking. It was falling off. It never stuck like this, though. Now I can't even pick it up. What? What is the deal? What is happening? Go down low, it won't grab it. Go up high, it won't grab it. Try to set it down, it won't come off. Yeah, it's like stuff gets stuck to the forks. And that's that's as frustrating as it gets right there, too. You got a stack of something, you're trying to set it down, stuck on the forks. Silly. Just being silly. All right, let's go ahead and drop this right here. And then we'll pull the Volvo around and start stacking bales. Take it down to the big TMR mixer. Be able to pull just right here. Anywhere right here should be good. All right, we'll go ahead and kill the engine right there for a little bit. We'll move the McCormick out of the way because it's in the way. All right. Go back and grab Telehandler and get to stacking. We don't have that many bales to stack. I know it's it's probably more than what people are used to these days because a lot of people play with the auto load trailers. 
it's not going to be too bad, I don't think. Shouldn't take us more than about 30 minutes. I don't know, judging by the way that just went with that thing, it may take us more than 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know if I can grab... There we go. That actually worked out well, but I don't know if I can grab two at a time, but I can apparently. Uh, I just need to get these to even out now. There we go. That worked. And I may do this. I may take uh, a couple from each stack and just make me a wall on this side. That seems to work out a little better when you do it this way and strap them down. That way you got you a solid wall on one side. You can just butt them into it. Uh, and I'm, I'm only going to be able to go too wide. But if I do this, right, and then we jump out, we just throw a strap around that one. And then we go get uh, some... Oh, man, I forgot I got dang... I got them dang old dang round bales right yonder. Uh, I forgot about it. I'm going to keep the grass down here because the grass doesn't really matter. Ooh. Silage bells is going to be a problem, I think. All right, there we go. Take it easy with the silage. I need a bigger... I need a bigger telehandler. We may have to get us a bigger telehandler down on the other end. Like, that might actually be a thing we have to buy. Sooner rather than later. Uh, oh, yeah, Ray let me keep the bales, too. You can see the one I've got forked right now is a clover silage bale. Uh, so that's good. We're going to be able to plant some different some different grass for our cattle. They're going to be so happy. we got so many cattle now. They're going to be happy to have some different food, I think. Okay, easy. Easy does it. Turn a little bit right there. Even that one bale up. That looks good. That's close anyway. We'll let that ride. There we go. Don't forget the ones that are behind the shed. Yeah, I don't even know where those came from. I do know where they came from. But for the story itself, we'll say I don't know where they came from. Uh, those will have to get as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't know how I want to do this for the for the for these because there's not that many of them. I may put them right on the back. Because we're gonna have to have room for those other ones. Let's try this. I'm just gonna take one and we're gonna try. It, see what happens. Uh, let's take these three. Let me get a little higher actually. If we can pick up these three, I've done this before. It's a little bit heavy, but I've done it before. And I don't mind that I just turned that over. We're going to, have to fix it anyway at some point. Hello, camera? Oh my god, hitboxes. I need the no camera collision is what I need for a mod. That's that's just ridiculous that I can't back up without running into the bales. I'm going to try to set these right here on the back. We'll see what happens. See if they'll set like this. This is not how you would load round bales at all. Not even a little bit because you don't want them going off. You load them, you load them end to end. You don't load them front to back. I mean uh, side to side like this. You load them front to back. But I'm going to try this anyway. And see if they'll hold right there. God dang, do I have a strap back here anywhere? I don't know if that actually caught them or not. Let's move them forward a bit. Take it easy here. Pick up just a little bit. Let's set them right there like so. There we go. That got a strap around. That's good. Uh, I'm just trying to save as much room as I can right there because I don't, I don't know how much I'm gonna need for the rest of these bales. And it may take more than one trip too. That's a new file. Uh, that should be enough though. I do that. I'm gonna take two more. Actually, I'm just gonna grab one silage bell at a time here because these are these are very heavy for this little telehandler. This telehandler is not weigh a lot. It's like seven tons or something, so not too much. He's got a. I got myself a plan. Yes, sir. Free bales are free bales. That's true. That's a new follower. That's a new follower.
Kelly, thank you for the follow. D four three and oops nine six. Thank you for the follow. Uh, d d d d d d d f d f. I don't d d d d three four. How about that? D three four. Uh, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. And Wiener Dog, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. Come on now. Why don't you stay? Just stay there. Stay there. Why do you have so much trouble letting go? Dean. Aha. See, there you go. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I suck when it comes to people putting numbers in there in where letters should be. I'm no good at it. Thank you for the follow. I mean, I guess I probably would have realized it at some point, but I appreciate you helping me out. Like, I probably would have looked at it a couple more times trying to figure it out and going, oh, okay, I see. I'm not the brightest crayon in the tool shed, so. Oof, this is, this is like uh, flying too close to the sun right here. About as high as we're gonna be able to go to, ain't it? Definitely is. All right, so four high. I'm not gonna have room for all that. I don't think we're gonna have to make two trips. It'll be alright though. <laughs> Goody said, "Join a club." If I'd have turned it the other way, I might have. I don't know. I've got. Uh... Let's see. No, we do have a lot of bales here, don't we? Dang. Yeah, we do have a lot of bales. Uh, let's go ahead and get all of my silage bales on. Just because they're the heaviest. I can only grab one at a time of these. They're going to take twice as long to do. Um, and I might go ahead and make another stack of silage bales next to that one on the back side there. And we'll just go two wide, four high. Because I know I'm going to have enough to fill it up. Whatever I don't have enough of, we'll fill it in with something else. go. Now throw this, you gotta make sure you strap them things in. They like to turn over. I need to get some more weight on the other side of the trailer. I know that for sure because that sucker will tip over if we ain't careful. We're getting too old for that. I guess I just don't see it anymore. You know, I used to play cod all the time, man. I definitely, I could see it, you know. Yeah, I, just, I just don't see it anymore. Easy. Go. Get it down so we don't knock anything over. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do another stack of four back there with these. And then we'll move. Uh, uh, should be able to grab two at a time twice for the bottom two stacks. And then we'll have to grab uh, just one at a time to go up from there. Again, the little small telehandler, it just does not like these big heavy silage bales at all. Uh, they're stacking up nice. Crap. They're stacking up nicely, though. Doesn't matter if they're still wrapped, they're already they're already turned to silage, but typically that would just be goo. Right, so I try not to unwrap them. But whatever. <laughs> whatever, it's fine. Go. What I need two more. Yeah, this one and one more. And I should have room after this to do more hay bales, maybe. But I just wanted to make sure we get these silage bales on here. Uh, I don't know, actually. These might. Is that going to fit? Oh, there's room. Heck yeah. All right. So maybe we'll get all the hay bales and everything on here, too. That's the goal is to get it all in one trip. Um, and I know it's going to take a little while to get all of it done, but that's, that's part of farming when you're building a new building somewhere else off site you gotta gotta get everything stacked up ready to move oh god the saving okay no why won't you why won't you let go let go you big dummy Thank 
There we go. Like the taller it gets, the more awkward it gets for sure. Do I have a different cow barn somewhere? Not yet. No, we put a, we've got a big TMR mixer though, uh, a cow feed mixer down on the other end next to our big grass field. And I figured instead of running all the bales back and forth, it'd be easier just to get the trailer and run just TMR back and forth. So I've got one big grass field on the other end, uh, the other end of the county on the other side there. So we're gonna be running that back over to this cow barn for now. And then eventually we're gonna have another cow barn sitting right right down there on the corner of that field next to our other farm place. Once we can buy that field. It's gonna take us a while to get to it though. Uh, that field's pretty dang expensive. Unless it comes up for auction and we happen to have a couple hundred thousand sitting around. That would be the good be the good thing, but I don't think we're gonna be able to buy it anytime soon. There we go. That was a lot smoother than it should have been considering that second bell gave me so many fits. What is my mouse doing? Mouse just all over the screen there for some reason. Very weird. Uh, yeah, we don't have. Oh, we didn't, res we didn't reset that, did we? Um, yeah, we don't have another cow barn yet. That one's got 190 of 240. So one more, one more reproduction cycle, and that one will be full. So we're gonna have to start buying. Uh, we're gonna start start looking at getting another cow shed set up. Actually, I didn't think we we're gonna have to do that so soon, but we will. Pretty quickly here, actually. Easy. Easy does it. Oof. Easy. Okay. Not quite straight there. I gotta get over just a bit here. I don't want it to load off the trailer though. If we tip, we'll just hit the trailer, which is good. Just like it was supposed to be. Beautiful. It's a beauty. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, what well, we got? Two more now? I'm going to try to... Let's go ahead and get this top one down. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick up um, four that high. Because they're so dang heavy. So we'll have to go with this for now. Go one on top, one on top. We'll go ahead and finish this stack out. Like I said, if need be, we've we've still got room. We can um, wow, why you move out like that? What you doing? What what is happening? There we go. He's so awkward. Yeah, we still got room, we can just stack on top of this for hay bales too, because we're gonna be manually unloading all this when we get down there. It doesn't matter what we where we stack it. I'm just trying to keep it somewhat um, somewhat even. For when we do get down there. It looks like we might have a stack of four. Uh stack four three stacks of four and a stack of three. That's not too bad. Do you have enough straw? No, not really. Um but uh, we should be getting into harvest season here pretty soon for soybeans. And now that we can do soybean straw, uh, we'll be taking contracts with soybean on it just so I can get the straw for it, if nothing else. And soybeans, of course, are good money, so it'd be hard to turn that down anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be getting into some soybean straw here soon. Uh, and my oats are actually gonna be ready to harvest uh, tomorrow in game. So uh, I'll have some more straw there as well. Not the best, but it'll be something, if nothing else. Uh, it's not, it's not going to be a lot of straw, but I'll have some straw to keep us going anyway. And I have used a lot. I, I didn't consider how much we were going to use for bedding and how much we were going to need for... Um, 
um, the TMR mixer. We're going to need a lot for the TMR mixer. The difference in this one, I actually pull it up on the tablet here and show you. The difference in that this one's empty and it's got 28,000 left. So as soon as we empty that out, which we'll take today probably, this one uses 360 silage, 360 hay, and 180 straw. Where this one is going to use 250 straw, 250 hay, and 450 silage to make nearly the same thing. The difference is this one holds a lot more, so I'm okay with it. Martin flushing 100 bits down the toilet. Thank you so very much. For 100 bits, much appreciated. Throw some plungers in chat. What's up, Celtic Moon? How's it going? Welcome. But yeah, we don't have enough straw at the moment to sustain the amount of cows I want, but we will. We will. We'll get there. I, f I fully believe that. We'll have enough in the long run. go and then one more and then we can throw an extra extra bell up on top of that for straw uh, for hay too or i've got this one round or the one square straw bell we make the way up on top right there probably just do that thank you guys for throwing some bits in chat show martin some love all those gifted subs and a hundred bits on top of it Dang it, just sit down. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab that one straw bale and stack it up there. That still leaves us room for hay bales on there, too. Again, this sucker's probably going to be bad, bad heavy. And really bad top heavy. So we're going to take our time uh, on the way down there. For sure. I'm going to square up with this bale a little bit better before we stab it again. Makes it easier to stack when it's that high up anyway. With just one one dang old piston bell right here. And straw. There we go. Like it like it was meant to be there. Like a glove. Alright, cool. Uh, it's most of, what did I say, 30 minutes? Anybody timing me? How long, how long ago did I say 30 minutes? Uh, these may get a little awkward here because these are really, really horribly thrown in here. These are really horribly thrown in here. These are my test bales that we did um, off of uh, Ray's test strips he's got. So they're just kind of everywhere. Sun gun, you. Why you move? That's pretty close. Pretty close. See if we can. Whoa! Whoa, what in the world? It didn't stab anything, it just shoved it. There we go. Okay. Woof. I don't think that was ever going to get in there. Now, I could use that trailer to pick them up, but I feel like the amount of time it would take me to drag these out and then neatly, neatly align them so that that will pick them up would be a lot more than me just stacking these. I know this seems crazy because these are taking a long time to stack, but I do believe it's just easier to do it this way. Oh, you know what? I still got those bales over there, too. Dang. Forgot about them. So right. We can just pile them somewhere and hope they ride, I guess. All right. Very carefully. Make our turn here.
concentration level if I was carrying these for real would be pretty doggone high. But I'm not a real farmer, so. I think that should go. Oh, easy. Oh yeah, just like it was made for it. Sweet. Like it was supposed to be there. All right, what we got? We got one over here. Let me go ahead and grab this one. Make us a, a three stack right there on the front too. I'm glad we got some silage bales on both sides now. That evens the weight out a little bit. The silage bales are bad heavy. Whoop! Easy, easy. Uh, for anybody that may be new, if you want to catch up on the whole series, you can head over to the Farmer Deuce YouTube channel. I upload all my vods over there from this and the previous uh, streams here on Twitch. I'm going to catch up on all of the series. Linktree is the best place to find all of my links, though, because I also have a main YouTube channel. I stream on Monday through Friday at around noon Eastern time. I'm trying to get that to come out, but it's, it's like it's so awkward the way it's way it's sitting there. I may have to just drag it back on the corner. Even that's not working. I may have another one of those cases where it's stuck again. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. It fell. Well, there was an attempt. <laughs> there was an attempt. Uh, that was a lot of work for nothing right there. I can't believe it just it stuck to it. It wouldn't come off there. Which the angle kind of makes sense, honestly. The angle, it was kind of stuck in there. It was kind of a weird angle. Like Tyrone from Snatch said, it was a funny angle. Alright, much easier like that. When you actually see it and it's not a weird angle to attach. Or a weird angle, weird angle to drop it on. All right, the rest of these are going to be a pain because they're all just kind of flipped all different ways, which these bells are almost actual square bells, but they're not quite there. Like this one is uh, flipped over the wrong way, so we're going to have to, have to do one of these like so. We'll drop that back off again. There we go. And then we'll pick it up. And we'll stack it up here on top of this one as close as we can. We'll take both of these guys. Uh, hello? Are we going to do that again? We, we play in the, the sticking game again now? Jesus. This is ridiculous. Just let go of the bale. Good lord. Farm sim, fix, fix, the, fix the forks, guys. Seriously. Like, it just sticks to it. That's the most frustrating thing ever. I know there's probably not a whole lot to be fixed there. I'm just complaining because it. The, if you're using auto load trailers and stuff, you don't know the frustration of getting a whole stack stacked up and then one pallet sticking and flipping your trailer over. You just don't understand. You've never been in my shoes. Uh, no, for real though, it is a pain. Uh, it is quite frustrating. <laughs> like an hour and a half of your life wasted. But not so bad. Uh, let's see. What do we got now? We got the one up top. Those are stacked. I don't know which way these are. Yeah, these are stacked. These are, wait, are these correct? Or are those correct? Well, now I don't know, because some of them are turned. I guess it really doesn't matter. Though. They're almost the same height either way. Let's grab the ones off the top there. We'll just sling them up. I don't think it really matters, to be fair. Let's just go with it. Trailer's gonna break in the middle. I mean, it might. That's a that, that's a lot of that salad is so dang heavy. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't have put it up there. That's just me. I wouldn't have put it like that. I'd have put the silage over the wheels on the backside. 
Also, I wouldn't have put this many bales on here to begin with. That's a lot of doggone bales right there. Well, I say it's a lot of bales. It's not a lot as far as number. It's a lot as far as volume. It's a lot as far as volume. Okay, these are not turned the same way. Let me see if I can... I'm trying to get that one to turn over. I got close. Try it again. Oh my god, why? Just let, if it would have just let go of the bell to start with, it would have been fine. But no, now we're going to do all this weird stuff. Yeah, it was looking good until it did that. Then it wouldn't let go of it again. Alright, get out of the way, top bell. Oh, that thing's not moving. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're making some progress. Sweet. There we go. No more complaints. We got it. Yeah, if it would have just let go of it the first time, it would have been okay. And the reason I don't mind the way this is, is crooked is because i got to go one here and then one on the other side. So it's not a it's not a big deal. One on the other side will be our fourth bale anyway. Uh, and this is, not, this is not turning out to be a perfect stack like I wanted it. It was never going to be perfect to begin with. But, uh, it's looking better than I thought it would, honestly. And really, we could just leave that there and just take one to the other side. Let's do that instead of moving it. Makes more sense. I thought it was going to be way further off by the time we got it over there. Worked out though. Usually the ones I see are stacked three high. Yeah, especially with Heston bells. Like, um, the round bells around here, you won't see them stacked. You won't see them stacked that high. You'll see them two or three. That'll be it. But not, not very many more than that. Okay, see now, here's a problem. Because I need to get this to like fall over or something. I don't care what it does. It just needs to be not at an angle like it is. Uh, that actually worked out way better than what I expected. Let's see if I can... I'll try to cheat right here real quick. I didn't get that bell to turn on top there, but it ain't wanting to do it. Okay, well, we'll just drop back into nothingness, I guess. Alright, fine, whatever. Oh, there we go. It straightened itself out. Had to do the old Mississippi unload on it, is all. <laughs> Hug me flesh in a bit, right down the drain, every bit counts. I appreciate you. Thank you so very much. Some hearts and plungers. Oh no, so, sorry. Hearts and plungers and golden TP is for sub. Get some plungers in chat for the bits. Much appreciated. Thank you so very much. I don't know that we're going to get on the, get the straw on here, though. That's going to be the biggest problem, I think. It's, there's no room left for straw. This whole trailer is taken up right now, and I'd plan on taking this guy with me, but we may have to run over uh, and just borrow the forklift. Get these bales off there. What do I have room? Two bales left? Yeah, we're, we're going to get to come back anyway. We'll just come back and grab, uh, grab the straw bales. And these are going to go in two separate places here, so it doesn't really matter what these look like either. Yeah, we'll come back and get the straw with the rest of these bales. This is very, very touchy right here. Eee. Okay. No. Ah, crap. We got close. Seriously. This, this is like... This is so frustrating. It's like halfway of it or something. I don't know what it's doing. Jeez, man. It's just so irritating sometimes. Like, there's no reason for it to be sticking, and it's just sticking all over the place. Could it be operator error? Possibly. But when the forks are flat, and you stab the bail, and it works perfectly, and then you go to set it down, and it's flat, and it gets halfway, and then won't go any further, that doesn't, se that doesn't seem like operator error. It just seems like 
something not uh, letting go like it's supposed to. Just my opinion. Seems like something is broken. Which other people have said too. That there are times when things just stick to the pallet forks and stuff. Which the lettuce does it way more often than the bales do. But it could be operator error. No, no lie. Oh, and the bales behind the barn. Yeah, I forgot about them again already. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about them because I don't know where they came from. They may have been sitting there this whole time. Do the pallet forks not stick as bad? Because I got to tell you, it's pretty dang frustrating. Uh, we're going to be using pallet forks to unload all this because uh, I'm going to steal the JCB from Ray for a little bit. Uh, I don't think he's got any kind of any kind of loads coming in or anything. Oh, we may be in trouble here. Hang on. Uh, I don't know that I can get that top bell off there. This may be an issue. May not be an issue. Hey, that worked out pretty good. That's the one I needed. It worked out pretty well, actually. That's the one I needed to fall off there. Yeah, those bells are not stacked the same way at all. One's taller than the other. Uh, that that thing, this this stack right here in the barn for the hay bales became an absolute train wreck at some point. I mean, an absolute mess. Uh, I don't think I can get any more straw bales on there. I don't think I can get any more bales on there, period. I mean, I could throw some on the back and hope they ride, but I don't think they will. Let's just take this and go. Uh, this is enough to get our machine. Look at that list of stuff on the side there. 122,000 liters of silage. 141,000 uh, liters of regular old hay. 92,000 or 9,200 liters of uh, mineral feed. 9,400 liters of alpha alpha hay, I guess. 11,500 of uh clover hay or alfalfa hay i guess wait is there is alf, is there alfalfa grass on here that's not right couldn't be so there's different kinds of straw in here too which is weird i guess the the soybean straw the test strips up there that's weird go big or go home yeah there shouldn't be any oh i know what it is it's the ones it's the bales that aren't completely fermented yet it's called an alfalfa grass so I got 9,400 in alfalfa grass and 11,500 in alfalfa hay and then the same thing for clover. So, I mean, that's a load right there, man. That's a lot. If I saw this going down the road, I would just avoid it. <laughs> I'd just be like, you know what? I'm good. I don't want no part of this. It's so heavy, I've got my foot on the floor and we're barely going 30 miles an hour. Looks like Grinch's sleigh. It kind of does, doesn't it, Delaware Farmer? <laughs> like Grinch's sleigh. And I don't want to go too fast either. Because uh, we will roll it. If we roll it, there ain't no getting it back up, I don't think. We're going to have to unstack and restack everything. I just pull the side of the road. I think I'd just hang the first right I could see and get away from it. And then turn around and get behind it just to follow it, uh, just in case. Ooh, I was just trying to slow down. I couldn't even do that. I mean, that's a, that's a load right there. That is one heck of a load. You're watching Chicago Fire. I'll tell you what, if somebody was to shoot at a bottle rocket or something at this, you'd have the same thing here. I'm on the brakes and we're just we're just not stopping. 
<laughs> I'm finally getting stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a load right there. Uh, the good thing is this is the bulk of it, though. So this shouldn't be... We sh the rest of it shouldn't be too bad. I got some some 180 centimeter round bales that are just grass that I may bring down here. I may not even bring them down here because there ain't nothing I can do with them. I may leave them down there. Uh, we may use it for extra feed or something. Uh, and then I've got a few more hay bales and then the odd and end uh, straw bales. And the... Um, I think that's it. That's it. All the mineral feeds on the truck, so... I don't know if this will take it like this. We're going to try this. No, I don't see anything going in. No. Manual unload. Okay. Let's jump over to the store. We'll just still raise JCB for a little bit here. This bad boy right here now, it'll do so it'll do some damage. That sucker goes a lot taller. And it holds a lot more weight. It's a lot heavier telehandling. Than the little guy we got. Sammy, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. That's a new follow. MTZ, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. All right, manual unloading it is. Let's get these straw bales first. I need to know where these things go. I don't know which slot takes what, so we're going to have to find out real quick here. Let's get those two. That top one will let go too there. Oh yeah, much, much easier handling right there. Much easier handling. God, I want these JCBs on the farm. Now, is this where the straw goes? I don't, it's not, nothing's, nothing's late. You think they'd have labeled this stuff. But... Apparently that is not where the straw goes. About again. Take another guess. This is like, uh... Door number one. Draw in the middle, maybe? Silage and hay on each side? Maybe it doesn't take it if I drive all the way in. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I drop it here. Maybe it doesn't take bales at all. God, that's going to be awful, isn't it? We gotta take these somewhere. Aha! Found it. Straw on this side. Okay, got it. <laughs> that was thirty-three thousand in straw, and it barely made a dent. It would have filled the other one up with eighteen thousand. So that's that's why we wanted this rig, uh, because of the um, the size of these things. They hold so much, and we're gonna need the room at some point. Let's go and do this strap here. Take our little bits of mineral feed and get them out of the way. Okay, let's run the trailer over first, then we'll drop that. That's fine. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I can move this by hand or not. We can try though. Nope. Okay. Hope we don't break Ray's uh, JCB because we gotta. Made it. It worked out. He's never gonna know. You're not gonna say anything, right, guys? I'll tell Ray. He never has to know a thing. Never has to know a thing. Lots of unstacking to do, though. 
Uh, but again, with this JCB, I may be able to grab uh, two or three of the um, hay bales at a time. At least, at least two, because the little the little telehandler handled two. So at least two at a time, probably three, maybe even a whole stack if we can be careful with it. Which me and careful normally don't go together. Um, but I'm going to try it anyway. And then hopefully I can move one of these stacks of mineral feedback. Look, look how much the trailer's leaning. Uh, we can move one of these stacks of mineral feedback and get three of these off at once. And just go ahead and let that in. Again, the, for me, the biggest selling point in this cow feed mixer versus that, that small TMR mixer we got is not the, the output so much because the output's about the same as it is the amount that we can put in it before we have to refill it. That's the biggest selling point for me. I don't think I'm going to try to grab two. I'm just going to grab one, one stack here. Is not happy about it. Take it easy, everybody. But I just hold your breath for a second. There we go. Okay. Oof. We barely had it on there. Be good now, though. Wow. That was, that was a tough spot. Oh yeah, take all of it. Heck yeah, how's that looking? God, it's barely moving it. Uh, we need to buy this stuff by the truckload, apparently. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna need so many more pallets of mineral feed. Sheesh. This, this may get to be one of those situations where we just take the trailer and have uh, have raised boys loaded into the trailer. Because just buying pallets of it probably ain't going ain't gonna to cut it for this amount. Alright, there we go. Got a little better bite on that one. It's still a little... A little off, but I think we can make it. Just take it easy. No need to be in a hurry. Just take it easy. Moving day. We knew this was going to come to this. It's fine. Another 6,000. Or another 3,000, sorry. Yeah, when we activate activate this thing, I want to see how, how much actually goes in here uh, or before we activate it I want to try to get like mineral feed completely full so I have at least one good reference of how much we're actually going to need for this I feel like it's going to be a lot like we're barely barely making a dent here so, like a hundred thousand or something probably which we're not going to have enough money to get all that mineral feed but. there we go it's all the mineral feed unloaded uh, let's grab some hay bales off this back side right here. How much is that? 9,200 in there. It barely made a dent. It might be It might be more than 200,000. Uh, the good thing is, too, on the way out here, we don't have to be as careful. Because, um, well, one, there's no real danger. And two, we got this JCB that holds a lot more weight. A lot more weight. We just have to be careful not to flip anything over. I'm going to say if straw went there, then hay goes here. Silage go in the middle? Yeah, there we go. Hay right there. Straw on the end, silage in the middle. Got it. Yeah, I just need to figure out what went where. That's all. That's all we needed. Again, the stacks don't have to be straight. They don't have to be good. We don't have to line anything up. Just snag them and go. The unloading process is usually a lot faster than the unloading process. Oh, I see a little speck of hay starting to pop up in there. Okay. That's good to know.
Easy. As long as it gets over there before it falls, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, a little speck of hay starting to pop up. Or, uh, straw. There's a little dot of straw in there. Not much, though. A little bit. Tyler, I need so much advice about mixing rations. I, I mean, honestly, me too. Um, using using a mixing barn, it's a lot easier. So I'm using a cow feed mixer. That's the big one. I've got a TMR mixer. That's the names of them in the mod hub. Um, but basically, you put what it says in here, and it outputs TMR. Uh, that's the easy way to do it. Now, if you're doing it with a trailer, I have found out. I didn't know this, but I found out. That if you were using the little, uh, like, coon trailer, if you use it and you do um, two silage, one straw, it'll mix TMR. Which is kind of crazy, because I thought you had to have straw. Uh, two, oh, two silage, one hay, sorry. Uh, or two silage, two hay. It'll, it'll mix your TMR perfectly. Which I didn't know that. So that's news to me as well. I thought you had to do... Um, a silage, a straw, and a hay, but you don't. Oh, this is much nicer right here. Not having to worry about flip o flipping over as much. I'm still trying to flip over. Uh, but yeah, if you use the trailer, do two silage, two, two hay, and see what happens. Uh, somebody told me to do that, and I was like, that doesn't work. You gotta have a straw. And they were like, no, it works. I'm like, okay. So I tried it, and it worked. I was like, oh, dang, I can save straw that way. I just need to know how many uh, round bales of grass and straw and how many uh, tractor buckets of silage. So so if I'm if I'm not mistaken, you do the same part silage and the same part hay, and you don't have to use straw at all, I think. But if you're using the if you if you're not using a building or something, you shouldn't use mineral feed at all. Like I didn't put mineral feed in my TMR mixer at all. You see that? The bells were stuck on there. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's silly. It's gonna be stuck to the trailer. Maybe it's stuck to another thing. And I'm just, I, I don't know why, but it just makes me so ill. <laughs> uh, is there a sign on the roof? No, it's a light. Yeah, it's a light. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go flip this on. Wait, is that not? Oh, those aren't fermented yet. That's why. Let's see, if I walk in here to just hit R, nothing happens. Is there not a light for these? Light switch for these somewhere? Maybe they just come on automatically at night? They should anyway. A wage payment? How's there a $300 wage payment? What in the heck are you doing, Jimmy? Jimmy down here stealing my money. He's driving into the trees. What in the world? Jimmy down here stealing my money. I was a $300 wage payment. All Jimmy was doing was driving the tractor back to the house. I was going to give him 50 bucks for it. He's sitting down here on the clock. That ain't how that works, buddy. Dang. Norwegian Sim Gamer, thank you for the bit. Much appreciated. Uh, you can try to say, uh, Jeg, like case IH, that means I like case IH. Oh, okay. Uh, I like the case stuff too. Uh, depends on what I'm doing though, really. Depends on what playthrough I'm doing, that kind of stuff. I like to change it up, so I'll, I'll use pretty much anything. But uh, I'm trying to stay, specifically stay away from John Deere stuff this time around, if I can help it. Just because I do it way too much. Easy. Here we go easy. Alright, this is actual solid, so we should be good here.
Norwegian Sim Gamer flushing one more bit. You just running an 80s cattle farm on console. I'm new to the cattle saying on Farm Sim 20, farm 22, uh, you've been avoiding it. Yeah, so if you're, again, if you're using a mixing trailer and you're using like loose silage, then I would try, if if you can find a bucket with like 4,000, since your, your hay bales will likely be 4,000, if they're not, then do whatever equal parts. Try to do equal parts silage to equal part hay. Uh, that should get you there. Uh, mineral feed I've, I've only seen have to be used when you're when you're putting it in a, a like a mixing station like this. I haven't seen it have to be used for trailers, but I don't know that because this is my first time around with cattle as well for for, for 22. Like really really paying attention to it anyway. So it's very likely um, that I could be wrong. But yeah, I would just try to do two parts uh, or equal parts silage to equal parts hay to start with. Uh, and then if that doesn't work, try something else. But I haven't seen a way to put mineral feed in a mixer, in the mixing trailer. I could be wrong, but I probably am. I'm wrong a lot. I'm wrong a lot, so I'm probably wrong about that. But, um, yeah, I would try that. All right, I got one straw bell up here we'll have to drop and then grab. We'll go ahead and grab this, though. Like so. Well, no, no, I'm talking about putting the, the mineral feed in, but I probably said something else. I mean, the mineral feed. Um, like, I don't know of an actual... Um, I don't know if the mixer, like the trailer mixer, takes mineral feed, does it? It might. I don't know. But I didn't have to use mineral feed when I was I was using the little coon trailer. Uh, it was just mixing. Like, it just did its thing, and that was it. So. That's a new follower. Settle down, settle down, settle down. E. Neil, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. Wait, how come it won't take that straw bill? It won't take soybean straw? Are you kidding me? I want to take soybean straw. That's going to make me mad. We know it's not full. Soybean straw. Firing up your own game and going to look like, yeah, I appreciate you uh, listening and lurking. Much appreciated. No problem there at all. So it doesn't take soybean straw. That's going to be a problem. Uh, but also, that could be that could be a good thing. I can use the soybean straw for the cows themselves, right? And then use um, oat straw. And wheat and barley straw for doing harvest, uh, for doing contracts for now, for the mixer. And I think that'll probably work. But I'm going to take this soybean straw back down there and see if the barn will actually take it. It should. But the fact that this thing won't take soybean straw kind of perturbs me a bit. But I think I understand as well. Well, I want to take that. You know, I bet it's not going to take none of the... Uh, None of the clover alfalfa. Alpha. Hey, yeah, it's not going to. It's not going to take any of this. I 
well, I know what I need to do at least. They call Ray's guys that fix the uh, the Heston mailer and have them come work on this thing too, so it'll actually accept the stuff it's supposed to accept. Oh, the map update. Whoever the modder is for this map. Just ruined it. I could have done that while I had everything down, too. No. No, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Yep, we're gonna have to get ready to fix it for us for sure. God, that makes me that makes me so mad. Let me add new crops to this map. Cool, but nothing's gonna take it if it's modded. If you have anything modded that, that's supposed to accept grass, it's not going to accept any of your new grass, so don't worry about it. Just use the in-game stuff. Good lord. Okay. Well, uh, I know I'm going to have to fix all that. Uh, I'll take this straw bale back with me still, because uh, I know for now I can give it to my cows and I need it. So uh, There we go, though. We got some stuff in there, and we haven't even made a dent. So... Uh, probably a hundred thousand mineral feed, maybe more, definitely a million liters of this stuff. That's a lot. All right, back to the house. Good, it won't take anything. It won't, that's alfalfa, alfalfa hay and clover hay, and alfalfa uh, silage and clover silage, and it won't take any of that. Uh, and the soybean straw either. That's all the new crops that got added. It won't take none of it. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get raised boys coming in here and fix this too. <sighs> Lord. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous that, that somebody modded the new crops in, but didn't take into account of like anything modded. Nothing modded works on these new crops. Terrible. Uh, Huskers, I could, but it would it, it wouldn't work like that. I drove over it and it wouldn't take them. And I don't use auto load stuff on this playthrough because the mixing mod was out first. It needs updated. Yeah, but that's just it though. There there are other maps with alfalfa and stuff on them. This map particularly, none of the modded stuff works with the, the updated stuff for this one. It doesn't work with alfalfa. Soybean straw, I can, I can see that. Okay. But alfalfa, it's on other maps too. And nothing modded works with any of them. So I don't know if it's a different code to all together for the alfalfa or what. Like, I don't know how the game recognizes that. I know it's just a line of code that says alfalfa you know, Winrow or whatever. Um, so I don't know what makes it so much harder for it to accept it or see it. But I do know that it's become a pain in my butt because I'm having to go in and mod it myself to fix it. And I'm not a modder. <laughs> Making my gameplay so much harder. I just want to get in here and play and enjoy and, and have a semi-RP experience. But I can't do that because... Let's update the map because there's new crops. Oh, the new crops work with absolutely nothing that I own. Perfect. Uh, I bet this cow barn right here won't even take it. This is part of the map. Let's go see. This cow barn is modified for this map. But if it doesn't take that straw bell right there, I'm going to be upset. Oh dang, we had new chickens too. We got nine new chicks. Ha dang. Oh wait, I thought we were full already. Oh no, we weren't, okay. All right, cows. Yeah, it's not even taking this one. The cow barn that the modder modded for the map won't even accept soybean straw. Why put crops on here if nothing's gonna accept it? That's a new follower. 
Like seriously, guy. Wait a minute, how did it, did it take some of it or something? What's going on here? How'd that happen? He was missing some for some reason. Raven, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. I promise I'm not always this ill, but this is this is becoming a this is becoming a, a nightmare with this update. This was supposed to be a good day, and then I found out none of the crops that I went modded the freaking baler worked with anything else. It doesn't even work with his own cow barn that he put on the map. What kind of silliness is that? It's not about easy. I'm not, I, I mean, I'm not using anything auto load or anything else. I don't care about easy. I care about it working like, like it's supposed to. And it's not. Like that's, that's a problem. It's, it's the modded, the modded, the modded cow barn that the, the modder put on this map. And it says, Iowa Plains View Cow Barn. Doesn't work with the that's new crops. A new follower. That the modder put on the map. It doesn't make sense. That kind of stuff drives me crazy. If you're going to do stuff, at least make it so it works for something. But I guess you're right. I guess we'll just go sell the soybean straw. I won't be collecting soybean straw. Or I might, just to sell it, I guess. But there's literally no reason to do alfalfa, clover, or soybean at this point. None. None whatsoever. Uh, because... <laughs> nothing accepts it. No point. Until I go in and fix the TMR mixer, I guess. Which I will. Gutslinger, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. Yeah, I promise I'm not always this evil. This has just been a this has been a a pretty annoying lesson learned here. Uh, I will never, ever, ever in the middle of a playthrough spend eleven hours putting everything back where it was for an update that doesn't work. Never again. Never again. Horrible decision. Absolutely horrible decision. And even still, it was a waste of time updating the Heston Baylor to do all that stuff. It doesn't matter because I can't use it anywhere. As a dairy farmer, no, there's not much use for alfalfa. I mean, I, I guess it depends on what you feed your cows. I watch several dairy farmers on YouTube. They feed their cows alfalfa. Oh, the baler works fine, J-Rock. Nothing else will, though. The, the modder didn't even update the cow barn to take soybean straw. Like, there's literally nothing you can do with soybean straw except sell it. And I'm just finding this out because I didn't test it because I thought, oh, well, surely it takes it because it's his map. It's his modded cow barn. So surely it takes the straw. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Absolutely baffled at why I did the update to this map. In the middle of a playthrough. I am, I am furious right now. Like it was absolutely pointless to update. Yeah, and for for the for, because, because this is a playthrough and I updated in the middle of it, I took a whole day, like an entire day out of my life to put every bale, every piece of machinery, every every painted piece of gravel back where I had it from the last video so that it would look and keep consistency from the previous after the update. Because you have to do a new save after that update. And this is what I get for it. Absolutely flipping nothing. Oh no, it takes Heston Bells. I've been using the Heston Bells. It takes Heston Bells. It doesn't take soybean straw. Yeah, I've been doing Heston Bells with it. It doesn't take soybean straw, which is, that that right there just set me off. Like everything else I can handle. But that is part of the map, 
right? That is the Iowa Plains View Cow Barn. You didn't even adjust your cow barn to take the new, the new straw you put in the game. Maybe it's not supposed to, but that seems kind of silly too. Why else would you have it? Just to sell? I mean, I guess that's okay, but I don't want straw just to go sell it. I'd like to be able to use it for something too, I guess. Oh, come on now. Flipping kidding me. Yeah, I, I'm just, that just set me off, man. There's no, absolutely no reason. None. There's zero reason not, not to have... The, the other stuff... Goody, Goody made a good point, right? The other stuff I can understand. The Heston Baylor, you know, wasn't wasn't adapted to take soybean straw. Fine, okay. Uh, the the it, it wasn't adapted to take alfalfa. Even though there's alfalfa on like a few other maps, right? And mods work with those. I don't know how because it's not in the code for it. But maybe they don't. I don't know. Uh, so so I'll give it that, right? Maybe the mods not such a not such a big thing, right? Just go in, change the code for it yourself, or wait on them to update fine okay I was a little flustered over that I got back over here to stick a, a, a soybean straw into the barn or the map that it is modded for and it doesn't work with it I'm sorry but that's a problem that is a problem when you don't even update your own cow barn or your map that is named Iowa Plains View Cow Barn to accept the new straw that you put on the map. That's an issue. I just find that very silly. And I'm done ranting about it. I'm going to get back to playing. Yeah, basically the, the soybean straw is just sellable. That's it. You can't do anything else with it. So don't even, if you haven't restarted and started a new save on this map on Iowa Plains View, don't. There's no point. <laughs> There's literally nothing you can do with any of it but sell it anyway. No point in restarting from scratch. And wasting your entire life setting it back up the way you had it before. Don't bother. zero point to it that just that's just incredible just incredible what's up pizza Hut? how's it going hope you're doing well Yeah, it's kind of silly. It is. It is. I'm done ranting. I just, I just wanted to be known how stupid that is, uh, of a scenario. How, how, I just, how stupid of a scenario it is to have a, a full update of the map, make people have to do a fresh start, right? Because you, you made some good changes. There's some good changes, no doubt. Uh, but then you break it by the, the stuff you added not being useful for anything. You can use in-game stuff, right, to harvest those things. That's not a problem. But you can uh, you cannot use modded stuff. The like I said, even the cow barn right here doesn't take it, so it's it's pretty pointless. That that soybean straw right there is gonna sit for a while. But whatever, I guess. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just so, so silly to me. A for effort, Billy Sale, with 100 bits. Thank you, man. Much appreciated for the 100 bits. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Dude, I'm, I'm like... My face is burning right now. I'm so mad. I could have used that 11 hours on a Saturday to hang out with the family or do anything else except waste my time putting everything back like I had it for the consistency of the Let's Play. just it's not even about the game 
It's about the amount of wasted real life time that I put into this for zero reason. There's no reason to do it whatsoever. Oh yeah, there's some lights and stuff around the farm. That's great. Again, they look good. It all looks good. It's a good update, but it's useless. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't give me anything useful. Terrible. Thank you guys for throwing some plungers in chat for Billy. I'm actually done ranting about it. I'm done. I'm done ranting about it. I've said my piece. It's stupid. It's a silly update. If you haven't restarted, don't bother. Not yet, anyway. I mean, you, you're laughing pizza like it's funny. I literally spent 11 hours of a Saturday from starting from a fresh save in the middle of this Let's Play, and unless you hear me say it, you wouldn't know it because I put everything exactly like I had it. Painting the exact same pieces of ground, putting the bells exactly where they were, everything back exactly like it was. It took me an entire day on a Saturday when I could have been off doing something else. Hanging out with the family, watching TV, whatever. I spent that time on here to make the to make the Let's Play consistent. For nothing. An entire day burned for no reason whatsoever. Because the update forces you to have a fresh save. I'm going to try this again. We're going to ride over these and see if it'll take them. Uh, I'm just going to unstrap right here once we get to the straw part and see if it'll take them off the trailer. It might. Let's see. Oh, dang, it will. Look you under. I think somebody was right, weren't they? Let me back up and get these. Who, who said that one ago? That was a good point. Yeah, I thought I tried that. It wouldn't take it before. That one's too high, I guess. Okay. That's fine. We'll pull up to these. Be able to take these then. Oh, son, look you under. Heck yeah, lots easier. Uh, I just got the one bale I got to get off there now. If you delete one, they all disappear? Seriously? Same with the farm decor? Wow. Yeah, see, that's a problem too, man. Now I'm just finding more and more stuff I don't like about this map. I love the map, though. I'm just finding more and more stuff I don't like about the, the modern, I guess. But the map's great. I love the map. I love the way it looks. I just... I think shortcuts were taken for some reason. Alright, well I guess those are just going to sit there until Ray's boys get over here to fix it. J-Rock, just for clarity, uh, something like that that's supposed to accept certain bell types is the same code, right? I can just go in and tell it that it takes those while you're, while you're here so I don't have to bother you later. If that's the case, and I already got my, my layout, I know how to do it, so I can just go add it to it. And I understand on something like that and the Heston Baylor and stuff that I kind of got worked up about before, that that mod was not built to accept those bell types. Um, so I get that, right? That makes sense. Uh, but the cow barn on the map that says Iowa Plains View Cow Barn should be taken straw that's added to the map, but it's not. So I guess soybean straw is literally just to sell. That's fine. Uh, now that I know, I know. For the sell point? No, that's the that's the TMR mixer. That's the cow cow barn cow feed mixer is what it's called on my dump. So if I go into there and just tell it to accept these bell types, same difference, right? As the as the Heston Baylor. I just look for that same same line of code, fill types or whatever it's called, and I can just add those to it. Should be okay. So just look for fill types where it's got grass and silage and straw and whatever and just add the alfalfa alpha windrow, uh, alfalfa alpha silage, whatever. Yeah, it should be okay. Uh, I, thanks to that video you put up, man, I'm kind of finding my way around. Uh, J-Rock's got a great YouTube channel, by the way, where he breaks down modding stuff. Uh, so, and he's done done a few lately of, of, of just issues that I've discovered and he's done some videos on them, so it's helped me out, but it also helps somebody else out if they're looking for them. It's on the mod hub. It is, yeah. Uh, it's on mod hub. It's called Cow Feed Mixer. It's Cow Feed Mixer. Oh, where are we up to over there, by the way? 
Man, that just drives me nuts. I hate that I even had to get ill about this today. Like, it's just so silly. It's so silly. Why would you Why would you add a straw to the game that's literally no use other than selling it? It doesn't make sense to me. Like, it won't even go in your own barn that you put on the map. But I know it takes Heston straw, Heston bales of straw, because that's what I've been doing for the longest, is Heston bales. Like, I've used two stacks of Heston bales, and we got down to our round bales. That's what I had left over. Just crazy, though. Like, why? Why is that a thing? Rex a lot, flushing 100 bits. I appreciate you flushing them bits right down the toilet. Much appreciated. Those are some hearts and plungers from Gold TP. No, oh, just some plungers, sorry. Just plungers. Throw some plungers at Rex. You can throw hearts, whatever you want to. I don't care. Throw whatever you want to. It's all good. It all spins here. Oh, achievement unlocked. Long haul. Dang. Okay. New achievement still. Uh, it's because the fill type of the cow mixer accepts. Not that size of bale? What? Well, no, I just... The cow mixer? I just put everything else I put over those Heston bales, though. And it took everything else. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all can keep blaming the Heston bale, but... How come these guys aren't eating anything? Like, y'all can, can say Heston bales. Oh, they're still full. Okay. Oh, it's not about the size of that belt. Yeah, no, I, that's everything I just took down there was Heston Bells. It's the fill type, yeah. Oh, it's because it's the fill type that the Cal Mixer accepts. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. And not the size of the belt. Sorry, I read that backwards, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not the Heston Bells. The Heston Bells have worked with everything else. It's just the fill type. See, I'll just go in and find the fill type and then add it to the add it to that mixer. That's fine. Yeah, sorry. Just wording it backwards there. I'm back, Mama called. Gotta answer what Mama calls. I do. My mama calls while I'm streaming. I still answer. Got to. Yeah, I just feel so... I feel so cheated, man. I feel cheated out of an entire day of my life that I could have been doing something else. My day off that I normally spend with family, I spent on here, resetting this up, thinking I'm going to get to use alfalfa and, and soybean straw and all kinds of cool stuff. Nope. None of that for you, sir. Like, man, my time is valuable. Don't waste my time like that. Putting something on here that's useless. And again, I understand the Heston Baylor didn't set up for that field types. Cow feed mixer didn't set up for the field types. But now that I've set the, 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 the Baylor up for it, and I know to set the cow feed mixer up for it, I still can't do anything with the straw except take it to the cell point. That's it. I'm going to have to go into the map file now and tell the, the, the cow barn to take soybean straw. Like, other than that, it's useless. I really don't get it. I just don't understand. Why what was the point of you putting it on here? <laughs> Literally pointless. Uh, how much we got left in here? 14,000 left in here. All right, so again, once we get once we get the this emptied out, we'll sell this guy. Because it's done making TMR. Uh, it's out of, uh, out of stuff. This has stuff in it, but I don't know how much this is actually going to use. For every 450 silage, it's going to use 50 uh mineral feed where this one is using 360 to 20 so it's pretty close but the best part about this is going to use less uh less less uh hay it's going to use more silage but less hay and not that much more silage it's only use 90 more silage but it's going to use uh 110 less hay which is really good uh and then uh, or no, it's going to use 110. Yeah, it's going to use 110 less hay, and it's going to use slightly more straw, which again is fine once I get it set up to take uh, soybean straw. So, which again, I understand now that the 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 mods are the ones that were having issues because they just weren't updated for alfalfa and soybean straw. And all that. that makes total sense. So, uh, makes total sense. Well, I wasn't going to put them on blast, bud. Um. They, they've got to know that it's broken or it was intended. And if it was intended, then that's just silly. There's no point in putting a product on here that's literally nothing else to do with it when Farm Sim 22 is based around the idea of multiple multiple uses for stuff, production-wise, you know what I mean? 
Like, the only thing you can do with soybean straw right now on this map is just sell it. That's it. There's no other use for it. It won't go in the cow barn. Maybe it goes in the other cow barns. I don't know. I forgot three grass bills. Well, I can't do anything with the grass bills down there, Goody. Because it takes hay bales and um, silage bales and straw bales. And I, I don't have a wrapper that'll wrap these. So they're just kind of here. <laughs> they're just kind of here. There's some more around back. There's some 180 centimeters around here. And I don't even know where these came from, but uh, there's some around here too. Yeah, they're just kind of chilling back here. I don't know what these are doing. But uh, if we ever get a round bell uh, wrapper that'll wrap 180 centimeter bales to 125 centimeter bales, we may, may wrap them up. But yeah, there's nothing else I can do with them. So I'm just going to leave them sitting there. Uh, but everything else got moved, so all in all, even with my ramp for the last 30 minutes, or probably what feels like an hour to some people, uh, I think this is still a pretty good day. I got all the bells moved. Uh, that's only got a little bit left in it for TMR. We'll be able to sell the sell that uh, uh, that used TMR mixer to somebody, so that'd be good. Uh, lettuce is still pumping lettuce out, so that's good. The cows are still full, except for the straw, because that soybean straw won't go in there. Uh, but we did have uh, some new chicks that are born and some new calves as well. Let's go see. Maybe they fell through the wall. I mean, they might have, but I don't remember having 180 centimeter grass bales. They might have just been back there because I don't remember looking at them either. All right, so we have 190 cows. Yeah, we had 50 new calves born. We had 50 new calves born. Look at this. Insane. No, those are 28 months. These. Yeah, zero months. 50 new calves born overnight. Uh, I say overnight. It's been over the last couple months, but yeah. 50 new calves born. That's insanity. How much milk do we got? 26,000. We got 50,000 liters of slurry. We'll have to take some of that tomorrow afternoon and deliver it. Uh, and tomorrow, I guess, since it's it's after lunch now, uh, tomorrow we'll be finishing up today and uh, working on oats. I'll be using oat, wheat, and barley straw. And, uh, oh man, look at these eggs. Dang, guys. Uh, we're up to 250 chickens. We're maxed out. Yeah, they had some chicks. There was some chicks born. How many? Nine. Wait, nine. Is that all? Two months old. Oh no, there's 120. Holy moly. Uh, these are 10 months ago. I bought, I started with, with 120 chickens and a rooster. And now we have 120 chickens extra and nine. So we're maxed out. On, uh, on chickens in this cow pen. Holy crappers, guys. Uh, I did not expect that. When I bought the 120, I thought, yeah, it'll be a couple of years before we have, you know, have a full pen or whatever. Nope. 10 months is all it took. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll probably work on our oat field. I'll be using oat, wheat, and barley until I can figure out what all I'm going to need to add soybean straw to accept as fill types. Uh, definitely going to add it to the cow feed mixer. Uh, I, the barn will never take it. Because I don't, I'm not going to go into the map file and find the barn and find fill types on it, so it'll never take it. But uh, the cow feed mixer will be easy enough because it's a mod, it's separate folder. I can just grab it, go into the the fill types, and and add it to it. So it should be fine. Um, I don't know that I'll get it done tonight though. Uh, but uh, we'll get our oats harvested tomorrow. Probably start up some contracts as well. Tomorrow tomorrow starts harvest season. If we look here uh, for wheat, barley, canola, and oats. Uh, and then later this year, uh, we'll have soybeans, right? October, November. And sorghum at some point. Where is it at? Sorghum right here. Yeah, soy, so, uh, let's see. Potatoes and, and soy, sorghum in August. So uh, we'll have July, August for the big five, right? And then soybeans in October. Uh, and again, right now, I'll just take the soybean straw and sell it, I guess. Since I can, I can bail it up, but I can't do anything else with it. I'll just take it and sell it. Should work out fine. Uh, I appreciate you guys for being here. I gotta take off and go do some dinner. I appreciate it again. Sorry about the ramp for the last 45 minutes. It just drives me nuts when when things are not thought out well, and it's something that you're introducing to the public that's already been out. And I spend an entire day of my life thinking I'm doing something good, and it turns out I could have just left it the way it was and been better off. So. Um, yeah, little, little bit, I was a little bit upset over that, but I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you so very much for all the bits today. The new follows, uh, again, 
Linktree, exclamation point Linktree and chat. You can find all of my other channels there. I stream on YouTube Monday through Friday at around 1 p.m. Eastern. Then I take about an hour break, and then I stream on Twitch for a couple of hours. Uh, I upload uh, on Wednesdays and Sundays on Pixel Deuce Plays, so youtube.com slash Pixel Deuce Plays. Uh, and then my Farmer Deuce channel, if you want to go, go catch up on this whole series, Farmer Deuce is the place to do it. YouTube.com slash at Farmer Deuce. Find me there. My main channel is YouTube.com slash Deuce MS. I have a lot of different channels and a lot of different stuff going on. That's the reason I don't have time for BS like this. This just drives me nuts. Uh, I appreciate you guys, though, for being here. Thank you so much, very much for being understanding uh, and good, solid community behind me. Uh, I appreciate you guys so very much for the bits, the follows, the lurkers. The subs, much appreciated. Uh, hang on. As season's turned off, now that I turn it back on, when should I do that? Probably in the winter time. Uh, probably in the winter time. Yeah, I would. I would only do it in the winter when all the crops are dead and you have no crops in the ground. Like if you don't plant anything and then you turn it on during the winter crystal, that that'd be the best time. That's my opinion, though. Yeah. As if you haven't planted a winter crop. Like, if you don't have anything planted in the fall. Like, if you didn't plant here for these three. Right? If you're waiting until springtime to plant again, do it in December, January. That's when I would... Because there's nothing really going to be, you know, affected by it at all. So... Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for me. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all next time. I'll be on YouTube tomorrow playing uh, Vosphia. It is a medieval survival game. It's brand new. It came out today, but I was doing Medieval Dynasty today because it's Medieval Monday. So tomorrow I'll be doing Vosphia uh, around 1 p.m. Eastern. Wednesday we're going to be checking out part two uh, of Deliver Us the Moon in expectation for Deliver Us Mars. And then Thursday we're going to be checking out Aquatica, which is going to be an underwater city builder type game. And then Friday we do Farms and Friday on my main YouTube channel for the community server we're playing on Western Australia. Find everything you need in Linktree. Uh, or just go to Discord and, and keep up there too because I have a one channel that says Deuce Live and that's all of my channels post there every day when I'm doing something. I appreciate you guys and I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Later, folks.